Good morning, chestnuts, and welcome to Thursday's spelling lesson. I hope you're enjoying the spelling words that we're looking at this week and that you feel confident understanding how to apply our spelling rule to those 10 words. The first thing I want you to think about, like we always do, is what is that spelling rule that we're looking at this week? Can you explain to someone in the room or can you write it down or can you just think in your head what it is that we're focusing on this week? Hopefully you've remembered that we're looking at the long A vowel sound spelled E-I. And thinking about that, therefore, what words can you remember? How many of those 10 do you think you can recall without looking back over your spelling work from this week? If you need to pause the video, that's fine, because what I will do now is move on to reading those 10 words to you. So we've been looking at vain, way, eight, neighbor, sleigh, rain, freight, rains, veil, and 18. The first thing we're gonna to do today is just make sure that we're really confident at understanding what those words mean. Yesterday's activity saw you matching different pictures to the words and then writing them in a sentence. And I was really impressed with the sentences that you created and the fact that you're remembering to use your cursive joined up handwriting, your capital letters and your full stops. So the first thing we're gonna do is I've written five sentences and in each of them a word is missing and one of those words is your spelling word. So I'm going to read them out loud and what you might want to do on a piece of paper is write down what you think the missing word is. Now if you need more time you can pause the video and read them to yourself and write them down at your own pace and then I'll move on to our actual task for the rest of spelling today. So, the first one says, I stepped on the scales to something myself. I wonder which of our spelling words would fit in that space. Number two, my something has a lovely garden. Three, Prince Charles will be the next person to something over our country. Four, I pulled on the something to slow down the horse. And finally, five, the function of the something is to carry blood to the heart. So if you're not quite ready to move on yet, pause the video and take your time thinking about which spelling word would fit into each gap. Okay, you might need to think of the plural, so you might need to add an S to one of your spelling words. So just have a think. So I'm now going to reveal what they were. I stepped on the scales to weigh myself. My neighbour has a lovely garden. Prince Charles will be the next person to reign over our country. I pulled on the reins to slow down the horse. And the function of the veins is to carry blood to the heart. Hopefully you're really confident and you got five ticks for those. But if you didn't, don't worry. We're going to continue focusing on them today. So our task is going to be another word search and you're going to be looking for our spelling words within this piece of work. Now, what you might notice is we've got our 10 spelling words down the side. However, when I made this word search, it wouldn't allow me to use the word eight and 18 because they both contain the word eight. So you'll see that we've got the word 80 instead of the word eight there. So that is slightly different from our spelling words this week, but it still has that long A sound spelt E-I. I hope you enjoy doing your word search today. And what I really want you to think about and possibly write when you upload this word search is what strategy you used to find all 10 words. How did you go about locating them when you were doing this task? Speak to you later, chestnuts. Bye.